We say hello to our friend Kaylee Chelios. Kaylee, coming off an intense game one, what are your expectations heading into game two tonight? Yeah, the first game was really, really exciting. I mean, obviously, you kind of mentioned the physical play a little bit, and I think that's definitely going to carry over into game two as well, and it's what you expect when the greatest, greatest rivalry in the sport come together like that. And uh, Team Canada, obviously, on their home soil, wanted to get off to a strong start, and they did. The U.S., uh, it took to the second period to really find their legs again, and when they did that, they had some really strong goaltending, and one of the biggest things that Kendall Coyne had talked about, they have a history of kind of allowing that late third period goal to come in against them. And, and they've made it a point to really buy in and internalize that, that frustration and that feeling and, and make sure that that doesn't happen. So in addition to some phenomenal goaltending, uh, Team USA, again, coming in with some serious confidence after winning an Olympic gold medal and the Four Nations Cup, two major championships in 2018. So it was a game that could have gone either way. And going into tonight, I spoke to Team USA's head coach, Bob Corcrum, and he had said that maybe, maybe they over-pursued a little bit in the offensive zone, in the neutral zone, and, and that kind of led to some coverage issues, which we saw odd man rushes against them. So I think they're going to look to tighten up a little bit offensively. And Team Canada, uh, you know, we, we spoke to their captain this morning, and she had said, we got to find a way to score goals. And they did a pretty good job, but I think just getting a little bit more of that net front presence as they start getting pucks on net is going to help them. Well, I don't think we can talk about this rivalry series without talking about Kendall Coyne. I mean, what a month it has been for her from basically making history at All-Star Weekend in the skills competition. Then she's named the captain of Team USA. What impact does she have on this team's roster? Huge. I mean, she's wearing the C on the jersey right now, and she said, you know, even though they had a couple women last night make their uh, national debuts, they'll have another one tonight in goaltender Katie Burt, but Kendall said it felt like she was making her debut because she was wearing the C and she had the same jitters and same excitement, and it's hard for her to look at some of her teammates in the locker room with the C because they all voted for her, and she said it's hard not to get emotional and almost teary-eyed when she thinks about it, so... Obviously, both Team Canada and Team USA are proud of her in that the impact she had at All-Star Weekend being the first woman to compete in the skills competition. I mean, that, you know, made waves around the world. And then alone for the U.S., I mean, it's been great. Over 75,000 women and young girls are registered in USA Hockey today, and, and that's miles ahead of where they were when Cammy Granado brought home the gold medal for Team USA in 98. So she's just, you know, doing amazing. And, you know, their head coach, Bob Corkum, he had said that right now, Women's hockey has got a lot of momentum right now, and it's something that they should be proud of. They want to continue to sell out arenas like they did in London, and I'm sure they'll have another great crowd tonight. Yeah, and another woman that's had a big impact on young girls uh, across North America signing up for hockey is Hillary Knight. She scores the lone goal for her team in the victory Tuesday. What impressed you most about her performance specifically? She came up huge. I mean, that was the difference. It was a one nothing game, and Hillary Knight just seems to do that, especially against Canada. She was there in the Four Nations Cup as well. Uh, she scored two goals in their 5-2 to two victory, and she leads the Four Nations Cup in goal scoring with 30 of them. So she's been incredibly impressive to have that veteran leadership both on and off the ice. I know their head coach and Kendall had said, when you have a national team like this, it's amazing because everyone can really fill into that leadership role and step up and, and kind of wear the C. But Hillary Knight, you know, she was a little bit quieter early on in the game, even though she was having a really successful game. And then there she is coming up with the game-winning goal and really providing a spark for her team after a huge penalty kill that uh, led up to that moment. So she's been fantastic, uh, a huge presence in the locker room, on the ice, and obviously her offensive production and, and her influence right now has been outstanding, especially for some of these young players that are making their debuts. I know Savannah Harmon got the assist on that goal, so that's got to be pretty exciting for her. For sure, and you mentioned this a little bit earlier, but the win probably wouldn't have been possible without the play of Team USA's goaltender. How did she and the defense eliminate so much of Canada's scoring chances? How were they able to do that? Yeah, they were phenomenal. Alex Risby was the difference in that game. Kendall Coyne said it this morning, too. If she doesn't have that kind of a performance, they're not going to win that game. So she was fantastic. She did a great job uh, at not allowing like second and third opportunities. She even got her blocker up at one point and started throwing some jabs as we continue to see <laughs> the physical play uh, roll over. So she was great. Uh, I think overall, both teams actually did a pretty good job at defending well in front of their net towards the third period when USA was on their heels a little bit. Rigsby once again, just like she did at moments in the first period, had to really close out this game in the third period and make some phenomenal stops. And then she stopped all 12 of Canada's shots on goal. So she was really impressive to watch. Tonight it's going to be Katie Burt who makes her 
uh, national debut, and I'm sure it's going to be overwhelming and a little bit emotional for her as well. Yeah, and for anyone that thinks women's hockey isn't physical, all they have to do is go back and take a look at the tape uh, from Game 1 of this rivalry <laughs> series. Game 2 goes tonight. It is always a good, good time when these nations face off against each other. You can see the game 7 o'clock Eastern right here on NHL Network. And by the way, we are taking predictions on our Twitter account, so if you're watching and you want to place your vote on who you think is going to take Game 2, you can do so there. Thanks for this, Kelly, or Kaylee, excuse me. Enjoy the game. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. Appreciate it.